Okay, I have a friend here who was asking for some advice and or an objective view of what changes I would make after seeing this painting for the first time. First, I'd like to point out that this is a very strong composition. It's a very cool painting with these flowing lines. Obviously, the point of interest is the tree. And he was saying that he was having problems with the middle ground, the flowing grass fields in the middle and in the background. And so here's what I would do to alter this painting a bit. Remember, you want the viewer to be attracted to the area of interest. And of course, the area of interest is this tree. So you don't want to necessarily pull the viewer's eye away from the area of interest. On the other hand, you don't want the middle ground and background to be so distractive that it takes away from the area of interest. The problem that I see with this painting is the strong lines of the two horizons that you're seeing here in the middle and background. So what I think should happen in this painting is that these two horizon lines in the background should be broken up a bit. So let's try this and see what it looks like. What I'm going to do is bring this tree over this horizon line so it's not behind this middle horizon line. I'll also do the same thing to this tree here. I'll put a bit more contrast in the form of shadow lines, bushes, things like that in this middle ground. So see, I'm just breaking up this horizon line where these trees are kind of flowing over the top part of this strong line that, that he had here before. Now look how stark this blue line is in this background horizon line. I'm going to break that up now. Just drag some of these trees over this horizon line so your eye is not so shocked by this straight line in the background. Because this is actually how trees grow. Unless it's in an area that was purposely farmed that way, you're not going to see these kind of straight lines like that. Here's how these trees actually work in the background. Even if your photograph shows a straight line, it's more natural for these tree lines to flow into this distant field. So the result is the background and middle ground is not so stark and not so harshly drawn with these strong lines. It's more varied and so your eye actually focuses more on this point of interest which is of course the tree. Now I'll just play around with this foreground a bit. You don't necessarily have to do this to it but there are usually some darker values as the subject gets closer and closer to the viewer. So up here close, right under this tree trunk, you're going to have darker values and harder edges. So let's take a look at the original painting and then these subtle changes that we've made. And you can see the difference between the two. And you can judge for yourself whether it works or not.